Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, it won't cost you a thing by using the link in the description. If you want to pick one of these up hey, for yourself. Hey, Rick, Rick, another quick video for you. Just picked up a really cool tool bag from CLC. I picked this up because I had some Vito Pro Packs. Uh, I had pretty much all of them, and the problem was they're just way too heavy. Uh, that's the one thing that they don't tell you about the bags. They weigh about five to 10 pounds each. So once you put your tools in them, you got like a 15, 20, 30 pound bag. And it's just, it's too much. If you're just taking like small jobs, do some kind of repair or something, it's just, it's, it's too much of a pain to have to keep lugging around. I know that doesn't sound like a lot and you know, I don't have a problem lifting that weight, but it's just repetitively over and over again when you're doing that at work all day, it just weighs on you. I wanted to show you this because it's kind of like an alternative. On the front of it, it's got two pockets right here. It's got a big zipper pouch right across the top right here. Open this up. It's got some really cool pockets in here. This is why I got it. I wanted to get something that's like a Vito Pro Pack that's got a zippered side where you could fit all your pliers and, and screwdrivers and wrenches and everything and just put them in something like this. And it's got two zippers that go up to the top and they close it. It's got a handle here, a strap that goes across, just like the Vito. It's got a real big pocket on the inside. That's the one thing that the Vito Pro Packs don't have, a big pocket on the inside at least two cordless drills, a charger, extra battery or two. I mean, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. It only does have the pocket on one side. You can get the one with the pockets, the flaps that open on both sides, but it's a lot wider. So that's the only thing. Uh, I wish they made like a smaller bag like this. The pockets on both sides, maybe they will. Uh, on this side of the bag, it's got three big pockets. Again, you can't really put too much in here. Maybe a couple pairs of pliers, some screwdrivers, just a couple wrenches. You can fit like a multimeter in here. It's got, a, it's got a flap here with Velcro on it. Maybe you could put like a utility knife or something in there. And it's got an opening here on the side, like a slot where you could put some pencils or screwdrivers or something. Over here, nice thing, it does have a tape measure clip. Uh, it's got another couple pockets on the side here. Again, you could put like utility pencils or pens or something bottom of it it's got four nice rubberized feet which are pretty rugged again this is the side no pockets on the inside at all it does come with a shoulder strap it's got a little bit of padding not too much but again this isn't a big bag so you're not gonna have it too heavy so I don't think you should need too much padding so I'll leave a link in the description to this exact bag in case you want to pick one up. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below. Thanks again for watching. Take care.